All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. I know it's a little rainy outside, but uh, that's not going to stop us from, you know, launching, or rather relaunching, our e-bike program throughout the city of Providence. So there are a lot of people that I want to, you know, take a moment to, to recognize and to thank for helping us get to this point. Uh, first, I want to recognize some of the folks that you see here, uh, here with us today. First, I want to recognize Ashley Brown. You want to wave, Ashley? Yeah. So Ashley is the Senior Government Partnerships Manager for the U.S. East Region at SPIN. So thank you, Ashley. I want to recognize Scott Williams. Scott? He's the General Manager of the Graduate Hotel and a, and a big partner to us when it comes to you know, everything tourism and um, uh, drawing more people to the city. Um, I want to recognize Alyssa Gurgel. She's the Providence Operations Manager for SPIN. And then I also want to recognize Liza Birkin. She's the organizer of the Providence Streets Coalition. It's really great to have you here, Liza. I also want to take a moment to recognize uh, different members of my team at City Hall. They've been working really, really hard on this for over a year. I want to recognize Sabrina and her entire team at, um, uh, in operations. And I want to recognize Bonnie and Martina and their entire team in the planning department. So it's great to have you guys all here. So today, it's an exciting day for us. You know, we're here to celebrate the return of the e-bike to our community. Folks who know me, you know that I'm an avid cyclist, and so this, uh, this announcement is especially um, uh, special for me. I was actually on the East Bay bike path with my wife, my family, and a couple of friends just yesterday, and it was just so great being on there, and I was talking to my wife about how much I would love to bring, my, uh, to bring my elderly parents out for a spin. Now, they haven't ridden a bike in a really, really long time, and uh, they're, getting up, they're getting up there in years, and so it'd be pretty challenging, pretty difficult to get them onto a bike. But that's, what, that's the void that e-bikes are filling more and more. People who haven't been on bikes for a long time, or who just physically you know, don't have the strength or the stamina to pedal for very long, well, these bikes are for you. On top of that, it's not just for recreational. These bikes are, are an important piece of our intermodal and uh, multifaceted uh, transportation options throughout the city of Providence. We know that more and more people are choosing to commute by bike. And as we commute by bike, having these options to get into work, to go back, and maybe go, to go across town during the day, you know, we want to make sure these are available on top of all of the other options that we have including scooters, uh, public transit, and other, and other forms. So thanks to the partnership and the hard work of the planning department, the operations department, Spin Bike Share co uh, Company, and countless others, we have 100 bikes that are now available across the city, and this number is going to be ramping up to 400 bikes by September. These e-bikes are going to cost only $1 to unlock, and then they're 29 cents per minute to ride after that making them another step forward in cost-effective, eco-friendly transit options for residents and visitors. With the relaunch of e-bikes, we've moved closer to transportation equity, creating a safe and well-connected community with a variety of affordable transportation options. As we have with e-scooters and through SPIN's uh, program, quote-unquote, SPIN Access, E-bikes and e-scooters will be available for people without smartphones, mobile location services, or credit cards. Spin Access also provides discounted fares for those receiving financial aid through a state or federal program. So we look forward to energetically getting many of our residents throughout the city to sign up for that. We even, we even have a ground team here in Providence that's focused on maintaining equitable micromobility distribution throughout the city of Providence, meaning that we hope to have these bikes at different places throughout the city on a continuous basis so that they don't congregate and uh, uh, bunch all together just in one small place. We want to make sure they're accessible to everyone. There are so many benefits to these bikes. Not only are they convenient, they're cheap, they're fun to ride, but they also allow uh, for us to reduce our carbon emissions throughout the city. They do not contribute to more congestion and car traffic. They contribute to traffic calming, 
and they promote healthier lifestyles. I hope everyone has an opportunity in the coming months to jump on an e-bike and explore a part of Providence that inspires you, get some exercise on the way to work, or simply enjoy the outdoors with family and friends. And last but not least, I also want to thank members of the Providence Police Department that's been part of the team here in the city, making off that you know we're checking the, the safety mechanisms on this, on these bikes, so that we know that they're going to be safe to ride and we know that the people using them will be the folks that actually, actually check them out uh, so that we don't have a situation similar to what we had uh, just, uh, just over a year ago. So the entire team has worked together to get us to this point. Thank you all so much, everybody, and I'm excited about this uh, really interesting and great day.